So we are talking about compound nouns. Compound nouns. Uh, the first, the first thing I want you to uh, remember is that the rules to establish the difference between one, two, three, and four. This four ways of saying the thing is not something that I think you should be worrying about. Uh, what we are going to do here is just explain some basic things, okay? Basic things that you should know. But this is the kind of thing that most of it comes with practice. I know you don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. Uh, tennis ball. Why do I put tennis ball like this, in this order? Because tennis is a noun, noun is a substantive, and ball is also a noun, so it's a noun plus a noun. Okay, a road accident, so road is a noun, accident is a noun, same thing here, but the first one is like an adjective for the second. Okay, so I know. For example, we are going to use a tennis ball, so I know I, you are going to use a ball, but if I use tennis ball, it's like an adjective for ball, so I know exactly what kind of ball you're going to use. So, if I say Antonio is a manager, and if I use bank manager, I know what kind of, what kind of a manager this person is. Road accident, okay, there are many accidents, sometimes you have accidents in your company, I hope it's not a lot, but sometimes you have some, but if it's a road accident, one noun plus one noun, I know exactly what kind of accident, income tax, you pay tax taxes all the day, but if I say income tax, I know what kind of taxes I'm talking about. Now here is a little different. I use ing. I use ing. So washing, swimming, and dining. So what's the difference between number one and number two? So basically, the difference, it's not very different, okay? This is an adjective for the second. But this, wash, wash is a verb. Tennis is not a verb, it's a noun, but wash is a verb. And same thing for swim, so swim is a verb, and dine is also a verb. So when you are using one verb, when you are using one verb as adjective, you add ing okay like washing machine swimming pool dining table so you are using one verb as adjective you have to use the verb plus ing number three number three it's not one noun plus one noun uh, the standard english language says that this is one word okay so what is the rule here it's not a rule it's just one more word and it's made by two nouns because the history of the language made it like this. But this is not a combination or something that you can put together anytime you want. This is one noun. So this is one noun. So the same as you have a car, ball, table, chair, you also have these nouns. Now, here you have three hour journey. Look, three hours. It's plural, right? It's one plus one plus one. So, if I'm not using it as uh, plural, if I'm using it as singular, I must use a hyphen. This hyphen. Okay? Like 14 year old girls. See, this is. This doesn't have an S, like a normal plural, but it's 14 year old, not 14 years old. 
So I have to use hyphen. 14 year old. So everything here is one adjective. 14 year old girls. A 16 month English training. Again, 16 months is plural. It's 16. But I'm using as singular and I'm using an hyphen. And if you notice here, this is one adjective. Okay, so this is one adjective. Same thing here. The three words makes up for one adjective. And a 16 month, the two words makes up for one adjective. So you see here, training is the noun. English is one adjective. And 16 months, it's one adjective. So if I use two words as one adjective, I don't use them as plural, I use them as singular and I use a hyphen. Quite complicated, I know, but these are the rules. Maybe you should, wa should watch the video again.